<clears throat> yo, 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 guys, it's Old Man G back in with another video for Red Devil Studio. And um, some interesting comments from Paul Pogba about Jose Mourinho. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitch United, smash that notification button, play to United News, and, and then some. Um, so I'm going to be reacting to this a little bit late, but I just thought it was interesting because I've seen the video. I'm not going to play it because I obviously flag uh, up copyright things. But basically, um, Paul Pogba is giving an interview for Sky Sports. Um, and, well, this is the article. Has ever a scathing verdict on Jose Mourinho's man manager and accusing the former Manchester United manager of castrating players, including myself, aside about explanation. And that's it. And, I, and, and I'll just summarise it really, you know, so is that essentially Paul was asked... Um, What's the difference between Jose Mourinho and and Oli's management style? And what Paul Pogba effectively said was, um, yeah, you know, I had a great relationship with Jose. They both were both on a win. They've got different styles. But I think what was interesting, because obviously this was the fallout after the whole father issue thing, where Jose, you know, basically is in the mud. I don't know why he didn't. He fought a. Um, metaphorical example and he made it turn literal but it is what it is they're where they are in the league um, and he's under pressure um so essentially Pogba is basically saying listen I had a good relationship with me at the start but it seems that with Jose when he doesn't like you he um he likes you one minute and then the ne next minute he just completely um exiles you um and you're away you're away from things um and to be honest that's the truth We've seen that at Chelsea. We've seen that at Madrid. We've seen that United. We've seen that. We're now seeing that at Spurs. That's the reality. We saw what happened with Dele Alli, for example. Like nothing that Pogba said is not true. He has his favourites, Jose Mourinho, and then when he doesn't like you, you are now longer part of the stands. You're bench for whatever. That's why you play midfield of uh, Fellaini, McTominay, and Matic, and you get sacked. Um, but what he said about Oli was that obviously Oli. Um, doesn't do that. So even if you're not playing, this is what kind of Pogba said, he's still going to put you as part of the group. You know, now I'd argue that maybe a few exceptions like Sergio Romero, for example, um, but in general, if you're not playing, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer still wants you to, to incorporate you as part of the group. He's not going to exile you. So if you think about the Van der Beek situation, this season, for example, if this was Mourinho, Van der Beek just wouldn't even be in the picture. You know, whereas Van der Beek is part of the picture, I better not get in game time. So, essentially, Paul Pogba was effectively saying that Jose Mourinho's uh, man management skills are not great. And we've known that. We've known that. And I know it's going to be, um, you know, as he's, Paul Pogba says, why have now Oli's different? He wouldn't go against the players. You know, so I keep on saying this, you know, um, and I said maybe Oli wouldn't pick them, but it's not like he puts them on the side like they don't exist anymore. That's the difference between Mourinho and Oli. You know, once I had a great relationship with Mourinho, everyone saw that. And the next day, you don't know what happened. That's the strange thing having Mourinho. And I can't explain to you because even I don't know. So, yeah. And that's the thing. And then he goes on to talk about how Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has helped Luke Shaw and has got him through the situation, unlike Mourinho, who basically was criticising him. Um, and, you know, to be fair, Shaw did say that Mourinho was right to criticise him. But Luke Shaw is playing his best football, I think, in Manchester United this season. And... That, I would argue, is, is, is going to be props to Oli. You know, so I'm not here going to slant to Mourinho and say he's a bad manager, etc. But at the end of the day, um, this is a guy who I think is a manager of a bygone era of players that maybe um, are made of tougher stuff. But in this era of football, you it's the, the powers of the players. And if you're going to be successful, you need to have the players on board. And that's why I say over and over and over again, whatever you think about Oli, the reality is that the players play for him. OK, and so long as the players play for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he's still going to be at the club regardless. Just because you get a more tactical, more experienced manager does not necessarily mean that those players are going to play for him. It is what it is. Remember, guys, if you need to try to like, share, subscribe to Red Devil Studio, force on Twitter and X, smash the notification button, play to United News. Have a nice day, everyone. And cheers.